basically, I guess, address a couple things. Obviously, if you guys want to continue to support the channel and leave the membership on, it's much appreciated. Definitely, with the threat of a bear market, it is uh, definitely more appreciated than ever, of course. And don't forget to stay calm, mine on. You can find the links to the shirt down below in the description. That being said, it should be added to the YouTube purchase option here soon. We still have, of course, I bought your GPU and that's going to remain relevant. Why is that going to remain relevant? Well, because while crypto is going down, the price of GPUs is not. And that is confirmed by ASUS, who confirms the AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT 4 gigabyte graphics card will have a starting price of 299 euros and 334 euros for the tough gaming custom models. Looks like ASUS has just confirmed a pricing rumor that appeared last week around the AMD RX 6500 XT models. Despite all claims of hitting, a, hitting the street at MSRP, ASUS has blown away AMD's promise of having the Radeon RX 6500 XT at 199 US and instead given a 299 euro starting price for their custom models that will be available on the 19th of January. According to ASUS, it is reported that the ASUS Radeon RX 6500 XT Dual at entry level will launch at 299 euros while the more premium tough variant will cost up to 334 euros. This is more than 50% of the recommended retail price disclosed by AMD itself and shows that the shows that those finally expecting an entry level solution for their budget PC builds are in for a disappointment. Furthermore, it was also stated that the graphics cards will be available in good quantities through the pricing, uh, though the pricing makes it seem like they could also be very well just fake news. Furthermore, these prices are just for base variants and overclock models of each variant will cost even higher. Based on these prices, we can expect cards to actually retail around 350 US dollars and up to 400 US dollars, which is more expensive than the RX 484 gigabyte, which actually launched at 199 US and had good inventory on launch day back in 2016. Earlier, it was reported that the AMD RX 6500 XT will have a price of 299 euros in France, including taxes, and then they just go over the same increase, blah, blah, blah. Now, from the miner's perspective, we are looking forward to write the new uh, core manufacturing process, uh, 5 nanometer, and hopefully that will show improvements in hash rate on things like flux, maybe ton. That being said, I don't see these dropping into the hands of miners really quickly, especially with the market being down. What I do want to segue into here, just so that people are aware, um, right now you can start getting GPUs at retail for prices that basically correlate to about $15 per mega hash. Uh, I'm on a few different Facebook mining groups as far as selling. I've seen it on Twitter. People are starting to sell off their mining rigs. Their only problem is, is they're trying to sell off their mining rigs at inflated prices. You should not be paying more than $15 per mega hash at this time. Now you can translate that over into solutions a second for, of course, the light hash rate GPUs. But for light right hash rate GPUs, I think you don't Dump that down to $10 to $12 per mega hash. Personally, that's what I would be looking at. That being said, there could be a couple outliers that I may pay more for, uh, i.e. a 3080 Ti that does 110 solutions a second. I may consider paying that standard kind of $15 per mega hash on that one. So just stay frosty. You can. There's been plenty of Best Buy drops and uh, plenty of new egg drops for the RX 6600 for under $500. We're talking about 480 to $520 at the top is what I'm seeing for these drops. They are staying in stock long enough for you to purchase them and they translate to $15 a mega hash. The other 
bonus to that is that they are the most uh, efficient, one of the most efficient GPUs out right now outside of the A2000. Meaning that the $15 per mega hash that you can buy at retail pretty easily right now, uh, they're starting to drop, is even better because of its efficiency compared to the $15 per mega hash that you would pay on a used GPU, uh, anything else pretty much, right? So the don't get swayed into purchasing for more than that, please, at this point. Uh, if you are trying to sell a rig, recognize the market, recognize that 15 would be per mega hash, $15 per mega hash would be premium. And that also miners aren't necessarily that interested in purchasing all paying exactly what you paid for your risers and your motherboards most of the time that shouldn't even be calculated into the price at, at this point for the mining rig in my humble opinion i wouldn't pay for it i don't care about the motherboards and stuff you know there is some value there you could maybe argue but definitely not like the huge five six seven hundred dollars that sort of thing that being said the power supplies could be, uh, you know, a good tick up depending on what PSUs you got. But if you just got like seven, 750 watts powering all of your 3090s, then, then no, no. And if they're not platinum rated, probably like from a farm perspective, I'm probably not interested in purchasing like, you know, a rig and then just having a whole bunch of like gold rated power supplies laying around that I'm never going to use. Um, Especially as the market gets tougher and tougher and tighter and tighter, those platinum rated power supplies are going to be the ones that are coming in and saving your lunch money, right? That's what we're talking about here. So um, just be realistic about what you think you can get. If you want to sell fast, you're probably looking at like 10 to $12 a mega hash just in general. Um, and then we'll talk about whether or not you should sell or not here in a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.